which is um, more episodes, uh, more examples of um, most common bridge mistakes. Um, and I've done a couple of videos on defense and on bidding already. And I thought I'd look at declare a play today, this time specifically declare a play in no Trump. And I think I'll do another one involving how mistakes, common mistakes in uh, Trump suits as well. So um, let me uh, go through some of the most common mistakes I see, and then we'll look at some examples of those. So uh, first one I want to mention is your declarer in a, a no Trump contract, let's say, the opponents lead a suit, you win the suit, and I see quite a lot of people leading back the opponent suit. And although it could be right on rare occasions to do that, it's very rare that you and the opponent should both be wanting to play the same suit. So, um, you know, I don't know why people do that. I know beginners start off doing that, and it, it's very often a mistake. And we'll look at some examples of a uh, lot of these mistakes in a moment. Another very common one is leading honours instead of leading towards your honours. Unless you've got solid honours, and it doesn't really matter how you play them, if you've got uh, you know, some gaps in your honours, it's nearly always a good idea to lead towards your honours rather than leading your honours, and yet I see a lot of people doing that. In a similar vein, I see people not finessing when they could have finessed. Um, and another very common one is getting stuck in the wrong hand, not taking care of entries, not thinking about your entries, and you end up unable to cash tricks because of that. Um, another one I will be looking at is finessing by leading an honor. Um, depending on your holding, it's more often, it, it's often a better to lead towards your honors rather than lead your honors. It's a bit like the earlier one we mentioned, but trying to finesse by leading an honor. We'll look at, at that as an example of a common mistake. And perhaps one of the most common declare play mistakes in no Trump, especially by less experienced players, is just cashing your top <laughs> tricks. Okay. Just muting everyone there. So please don't unmute yourselves and then uh, introduce some background talk. Um, and uh, perhaps one of the most common ones is just cashing your tricks rather than establishing suits. And uh, another one in declare play is not ducking. I think a lot of people realize that in some situations it's not right to win a trick just because you can, and it's often right to duck. And sometimes it's right not to duck. So we'll look at the mistake of ducking when you shouldn't uh, as well. So those are some of the most common declare a play mistakes. Um, and let's uh, switch to a screen and have a look at a few examples of them. And these are some hands that were actually played and bid in, uh, played in a certain way. And we're gonna have a look at, at how these were played. So here's one where you're north, you opened one spade you're not wild about that spade suit, but you're a bit too strong for one no trump with that hand. And it goes one spade, two diamonds, two no trump. Yeah, I think you've got a balanced hand with uh, 15 points there, and you end up in three no trump. And on this hand, uh, so north is declarer here, east led the three of hearts here, and down comes dummy, which is a south hand here. and in no trump, we're going to start off by counting our top tricks and then looking at opportunities for more. So my first poll of the evening for you is how many top tricks does Declarer have? How many tricks does Declarer have? Tricks that can be made without um, losing the lead. So have a little count of those. And I'm going to launch a poll and the question is, how many top tricks do you have on this hand?
And as I've said before, every now and then, um, I'm hoping that everyone will get the answer right. Uh, it's almost unanimous uh, for six top tricks. There's one person saying seven and one person saying eight. So let's switch back to it and have a count. Well, I think we've got three heart tricks, the ace, king, queen. We've got one diamond, the ace, and we've got two clubs. So we start off with six top tricks on this hand. OK, um, and we need to think then about where we're going to make more tricks from. So we count three hearts, one diamond and two clubs. Where else can we make more tricks? Well, spades should provide um, perhaps one or two more tricks. Um, hearts is not going to provide any more tricks. It looks like we've just got the top three tricks there. And diamonds could well provide some more tricks. We've got a finessing situation there. And we've also got the, so we've got the ace queen jack. So that could provide a couple of tricks. Maybe we'll make another trick in clubs. But it seems like spades is a pretty good option. Diamonds is a good option. Um, anyway, let's see what happened. This is how this hand was actually played. And they won the first trick with the queen of hearts. And this declarer, played a heart back. And that is a completely pointless play. Um, you're never really going to make more than three heart tricks here. And all you're doing is cashing your winners. You're helping perhaps set up tricks for the opponents. You should be playing the suits where you want to gain extra tricks rather than just leading that suit back. But that's what happened. This declarer took the ace. Um, and then they played the Jack of Diamonds. They're going to try a diamond finesse here. There are different ways of doing the finesse, but they, they led the Jack here and that lost to the King. And then they played a, another heart. This time Declara won that one with the King. And um, then what? Well, now they cashed a couple of diamonds. They took the Ace, they took the Queen. The 10 of diamonds dropped there actually. So the nine of diamonds is good. Um, and then they led a spade towards um, the south hand. And if I just bring up the four hands at this point, you can see when they now play the spade, east can see the south hand, which is dummy. So east decided to play their ace here, took that because they've got two good heart tricks. So they took the jack and the nine, they were able to make. Um, those two tricks there. Uh, after this, they played a club that, remember, they can't see the north hand. So um, South got, uh, sorry, Declarer got in, cashed the um, clubs and now cash the last two spades. So they made their contract, but they didn't make any over tricks. They only made nine tricks there. And <clears throat> let's have a look at it played another time. This time it was played um, much better. Here on this one, North opened one no trump, which was a, uh, a strong no trump, showing 15 to 17. South bid two club stamen, North bid two spades. And again, they ended up in three no trump. And again, the opponents led a heart. So this time, Declarer won that first trick with the queen. And given that you want to try to make spade tricks as well as diamond tricks, they found the much better play of leading towards their honor. So they led um, towards their honors early on here and they won a trick with the queen. Now that they're in the south hand, they're in the right hand to play the diamond. So they led a diamond over to the queen, which lost again to the king. A heart came back, which they were able to win. But um, now the diamonds are looking quite strong. They led the nine, the 10 was played the ace, and now there are two diamonds in the south hand. But again, North led a spade towards the honors here. And again, if I bring up the four hands, let's see what happened. Here, East went up with the ace. They were fed up declarer uh, winning spades. And well, whatever they played, Declare is in good shape now. They actually played a club. Uh, so Declare won the ace, but now was able to cash two diamonds. They took their king of spades. And actually, 
everyone's followed in spades. So the nine of spades is also good now. So they cash the eight of diamonds, the ace of hearts, and then they were able to cross to the ace of clubs and cash the nine of spades. So instead of just making nine tricks there, they made an extra two tricks, really um, avoiding the mistake that the other declarer made, which was um, you know, cashing an extra heart there, which is really a pointless, um, a pointless endeavor. Um, much better to play your own suits. Anyone have any comments or questions on that? Let's have a look at another one. Um, this one also ended, I'm going to look at this played a couple of different ways, this time ending up in three no trump. Here North opened a club, it was one spade, two diamonds, three spades, three no trump. And again, they led a, <coughs> a heart here. And again, you should be thinking about how many top tricks you have to start with and where you're going to go for extra tricks. So if I count my top tricks, I've got two heart tricks for sure, the ace and the king. I've got three diamond tricks. Okay, that's five tricks there. And I've got one trick in clubs, the ace of clubs. So I start off again with six top tricks. And clearly there's potential for more tricks in spades and in clubs in particular. Um, so this is how one declarer played it, however. They played low from dummy, or played the nine rather. The queen got played, which is good news. So now declarer's got three heart tricks, the king now and the ace and jack are both good. But this declarer, really, now that they're in the north hand, they should be thinking about leading spades because they want to lead towards their honors in spades. But this declarer instead led the five of clubs and, you know, when um, beginners are, are playing hands like this, I, I say, oh, why did you lead that? And they'll say something like, oh, I wanted to force out the king. Well, indeed, you will force out the king, but you'll do so at the cost of a trick. It would have been much better to finesse in clubs, which we'll have a look at in a moment. But this is how it was played. They played the 10. It lost to the king. They played a club back. Well, OK. And... Um, Declara won that one with a nine. And then Declara made a second mistake, which is leading the king of spades. So rather than leading towards the king, they led their honors. And this time they let them win that. They tried now the queen, which East won. And if I bring up the four hands at this point, East now, having won the ace, now decided, find, found a very good play of carrying on in spades. They played the eight and the 10 was played here, but West could win the Jack and played the nine back to make yet another spade. And um, after this, they played a diamond and declare just claims they can make the rest. But again, they just held themselves to nine tricks there. Um, and the mistakes really were not finessing in clubs and leading spades from the south end leading the king and then the queen and that helped the opponents um get in and take a number of spade tricks there how should this one have gone this was another time it was played with a um, different bidding sequence it went one club one spade two clubs three no trump and let's see how de this declarer played this one they again led the heart which is uh, again lucky for declarer play low from dummy and you can win that trick with the jack, gives you an extra, it gives you three heart tricks now. And now that you're in the south hand, this is a time to play the club suit. So they led the 10 of clubs, that finesse succeeded. So they carried on with another club. The king popped up and they took the ace and then they played the queen of clubs. Okay, and now all the clubs are good. They were able to keep playing clubs, throwing away their spades. And now they're in good shape. And now they made the other good play of leading a spade here. And um, if he doesn't take the ace here, they'll be able to win with the uh, king or queen. But on this occasion, he did take the ace. But now you've got the, the king and queen. So now whatever is played now, 
de Clara can win those last two spades and claim the rest. And actually will make 12 tricks instead of the nine tricks that the, the other de Clara made. So um, this was generally played in three no trump, making a variety of tricks, but really it should be able to make 12 tricks just by the simple strategies of finessing when that's available and leading toward finessing in clubs and leading towards your honors in spades rather than leading your spades from the top, the king and queen of spades. Anyone have any questions or comments on those? Um, let's have a look at another one. And this time um, <clears throat> it's gone one club, three clubs, and South bids three no trump. South's got what, 12, 16 points, and they've got a fairly balanced hand, so they end up in three no trump. And the opponents start with the queen of diamonds. And let's stop and make a, uh, make a plan. And we're going to start by counting our top tricks here. OK, so let's go through it. It looks like we're going to make four clubs, two diamonds, one heart and one spade. So we have eight top tricks here, four clubs, two diamonds, one heart and one spade. And prospects for more tricks than that are not that great. Um, we don't have any long suits and we've already counted four clubs. So what's the chance to make an extra trick here? Well, that queen of spades could make a trick, um, perhaps if the opponents lead a spade at some point, or otherwise we, we may have to lead spades ourselves. But let's see what happens here. We win the first trick and we may as well cash our four clubs. It may put pressure on the opponents as to uh, find difficulty in discarding. We'll take our clubs, okay? And really, the only good chance now to make a trick in uh, with the Queen of Spades is to lead towards the Queen of Spades. So um, I'm going to, uh, let's just bring up the four hands at this point. And you can see at this point, both opponents have actually discarded some spades. Um, so when I lead the uh, two of spades, West here is going to go up with the king, but now that will promote my queen of spades. Um, the opponents now will like, switch back to a diamond, but we can now make two spade tricks with the queen and the ace, and the ninth trick is the ace of hearts. After that, I don't think we're going to make any more tricks. The opponents will get back in, and here they cash two diamonds, and we make our, our nine tricks there. But really, leading towards the queen of spades was our only good chance on this hand. And it was roughly a 50% chance that the king <clears throat> is on our left. What I see some people do on a hand like this is they, um, instead of leading towards the queen, they lead the queen. Uh, they, in other words, they do something like this. They maybe cash some clubs here, okay? And then they lead the queen of spades. And on this layout, leading the queen of spades is really a hopeless play if the opponents defend correctly. Because when you lead the queen of spades, it doesn't really matter who's got the king, it should always lose uh, whoever's got the king. If it's over here, he should cover an honor with an honor. He should follow secondhand play of covering an honor with an honor, and they should play the king because it might promote a trick for their partner. So the only time leading a queen in this situation will benefit you is if you're playing against weak opponents, a weak east who has the king and doesn't play it. If I click on the GIB button, you'll see that playing the king is of course the only way to defeat the contract. Um, and if, if long as they cover with the king there, you can win the ace, but now you're not going to make any spade tricks. So you can take your last <coughs> top tricks, but at the end, you will probably lose the last tricks and 
only make eight tricks on this hand you'll go down one um and and really you gave yourself no good chance to make a trick with the queen by leading the queen in that situation now it can be right to lead an honor in this situation but only if you've got more honors yourself so for example here i've given myself the jack and ten of spades as well as the queen there and now of course it's absolutely fine to lead the queen of spades you'll beat it if they play the king you'll beat it and it'll promote your jack and ten so here if they play diamonds you might again start off with the club suit but at some point you can lead the queen east here should cover the queen with the king uh, because they don't know that south has got the jack and ten there um, but now you're able to beat that and you'll make your uh, two spades um, at the end you'll make the <clears throat> you'll make a, you'll you'll make at least nine tricks there so that that that's an important difference i i, I see sometimes people on a, on a holding like the previous one they you know they leave the queen of spades and then they complain oh my finesses never work um but really you you've misplayed it by leading your honors when you should be either leading towards your honors um in, on a situation like that anyone have any comments or questions on that to interrupt me and um let's have a look at this one here um here you open two no trump that shows a balanced hand with 20 to 22 points and your partner goes to three no trump that ends the auction the opponents lead the three of spades and again i'd like you to start off by counting your top trick so i'm going to launch a poll here which is how many top tricks does declarer have here okay let me share the results with you <clears throat> and again nearly everyone has gone for six with a few more optimistic people going for seven or eight so let's switch back and uh have a look at that that's the right one there so yes i agree with you you have six top tricks here you've got one spade three hearts with the ace king queen uh no diamonds and two clubs so you start out with six top tricks there could be a, um, a seventh in hearts but um at the moment it looks like six definite tricks here so we're a little bit vulnerable in spades and let's suppose we play low from dummy east plays the queen and i've got the third and final poll of the evening which is what are you going to play from the south hand? Okay, let me end the poll and share the results with you. And this time we have a much more divided answer. 38% um, said play the ace and 62% said you should play the 10. And um, let's have a think about this. Now, very often, it can be right to duck in situations like this because um, you duck a certain number of times if you can so that here you're going to lose the lead at some point with the ace of diamonds and and you hope that maybe one of the players will be out of space when that happens but this is a different layout because you as well as the ace have the 10 and the jack and that means that if you play the ace now you will have a second guaranteed trick because you've got the 10 and the jack left let me just um click here on the gib button and it is telling you that if you play the 10 here you can be defeated by one trick um, because what will happen if i play the 10 is they'll win the queen they'll carry on with spades knock out my ace um and then when they get in with their ace of diamonds west will get in they'll be able to run the spades so this is different once you realize you've got the jack and the 10 here you can guarantee um a second stopper in spades as but you must beat the queen with the ace 
There was also um, a chance to go wrong on, on what to play from dummy. So when they lead the three of spades, um, again, you can see that the right play from dummy is to play low. And the reason that for that is that you've got the jack and the 10, you've got equal honors in both hands. So don't play an honor there um, when you couldn't play the 10 if necessary. So here you play low from dummy, that's the first thing to get right. And when the queen is played here, you must beat it with the ace. And now I hope you can see you've got a second spade trick and a, another stopper. So whatever happens now, if you play the diamonds, you will force out the ace, but West, um, if they cash the king of spades, which they can, they've now promoted my jack. So I will now win the jack, and now my diamonds are established, and I can take two diamonds. <clears throat> and when I play hearts, if I'm paying attention, I will start by winning in the shorthand here. So I lead, if I go back there, if I lead the from the long hand, so I win with the ace there, play back a heart. And if I'm counting the hearts, the last heart is good as well as the ace king of clubs. So played that way, I can make 11 tricks there. Whereas if I'd done what the majority had done, played at trick one, I could have been defeated. Okay, so do look out for that. And here's a, a similar one to end with. Um, they lead the three of spades again against three, no trump. And <clears throat> let's, uh, we've got the same top tricks, I think. We've got one spade, three hearts, and two clubs. And we're going to have to set up diamonds. If you play low from dummy and they play the king or the queen. This is a very similar situation to the last one. Because if you think about it, if West has made the normal lead of the three of spades, which is presumably their best suit, that should be a suit where they've got at least one honor. So it's very likely that they have the king. And if they, West does have the king, I hope you can see you can afford to win this one with the ace. Don't, don't duck here because the king of spades is on your left and your jack of spades is now protected in dummy. Again, if I uh, click on the GIB link, it's telling me that I can be defeated if I play low here, but I can take two over tricks if I play the ace because I will get a, a second spade trick now as well as a, a, it being another stopper. So. The right play here, similar to the last one, is to take your ace. Now maybe I start playing diamonds. At some point, the opponents get in. And of course, if they play the king of spades, that just promotes my jack. <coughs> and now, once again, let me just bring up the four hands. I can uh, make the remaining heart tricks. Okay, got some diamonds. And I've got the rest of the tricks as well. So again, there I can make 11 tricks on that one. So these situations, um, you know, this was a situation here. And as long as you, the first important thing for declarer to do here on this particular layout is it works be much better not to play your, your jack from dummy to play low there. And if they play the um the king or the queen then beat it because it will promote your uh, your jack if they had played i mean the, the one layout that doesn't work so well is if they play if you play low and they win that one with the 10 um so then then it's then it's not so good then to win that trick you'd have to play your ace and then they've still got the king or queen but more likely than not that um, if, if um, West has got at least, uh, has got a holding like this with a king 10 or the queen 10, then it works out much better to play low and, and beat, the east, beat the honor that he's plays with your ace. And then you'll get a second stopper in spades. 
So that was those were some of the examples of um, mistakes in De Clara play, and I hope uh, you won't make any of those today. Does anyone have any comments or questions on any of that? We'll um, we'll end the talk there. Um, if anyone needs a partner, you can speak up now or otherwise join the Real Bridge game and I'll see you there. But thank you all very much. And uh, I'll see you online at uh, 7.30. Okay, thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Tony, thank I need you. a partner. Yeah, who was that? Anjani. Anjani, yes, you sent me a message, I think. Yes, I did. Is there anyone else who needs a partner? Anyway, Anjali, join the game. <laughs>